Hi guys, welcome to Lizzie Dean Mix. I'm Lizzie Dean and this is Charlie Dean. Uh, today's been a busy day. We've been um, planting up the um, charity allotments at the, in the gardens of the building where I work. Um, we've transposed a load of seedlings from uh, my front garden that we'd started over to a bunch of grow bags that we've set up in the car park um, which is, is going to produce um, food throughout the, the rest of the growing season which will sell um, on the cake desk at work and raise some extra cash for charity um, so we've been doing that this afternoon and this evening Charlie and I are going to pop out now um, to do a bit of hedgerow foraging so we're looking for blackberries for freezing for smoothies and desserts and things throughout the year and some nettles to try and make some nettle soup so uh, we'll see you later So we've just got back from our walk up the country park and we managed to forage um, about a punnet's worth of blackberries. Um, there are thousands of blackberries up there. The vast majority of them are still green or slightly pink. Um, so they'll ripen up over the next couple of weeks to a month. Um, Charlie's off. The, um, the best raspberry picking, uh, blackberry picking season is between um, August and September, so we're catching the early August um, ripeners now, so there's, there's not that many per, per bush, and some bushes are more ripe than others, so um, we'll, we'll be getting more blackberries throughout the season, but that was our first, um, first forage of, of the year, and I'm happy with the pun it's worth. Uh, I forgot my gardening gloves so I didn't attempt any uh, nettle gathering <laughs> as I'm not going to do that without my gloves. So um, no, no nettle soup for us yet, we'll have to, we'll have to do that another week. But uh, a pint it's worth of blackberries which will be going uh, towards um, overnight oats, um, smoothies, uh, banana ice cream like I did the other week with the blueberries so I might do a, a blackberry um, and banana um, ice cream, things like that. Um, basically, I um, bring them home. I've still got pink fingers. Bring them home, wash them, um, bag them in a freeze bag, and bung them straight in the freezer. Um, I name and date the fruit so that I know what it is and when I got it. Um, I think ideally you would eat them within about three months, but they probably won't last that long. <laughs> um, so that's, that's the plan. So over the next couple of weeks, um, when we go out um, to the park again, we'll be picking more um, more blackberries. So it's worth bearing in mind that in your um, location, there might be different foraging laws. In the UK, um, there's actually a hedgerows and foraging act. Um, but essentially, if you're on a public um, right of way or um, on public land, then you can pick anything as long as you don't um, uproot it or um, pick so much that you're depleting it completely so you don't want to pick anything bare you shouldn't be impacting really on the overall quantity of that um, that variety that, that's about so you don't want to overdo it in any particular location um, but provided you follow those guidelines and you're um, you're on a public footpath or a public right of way even if you're not on publicly owned land as long as it's got a public right of way um, you're, you're pretty safe with foraging um, and there also you, you shouldn't pick anything that's a rare or exotic variety um, we're talking sort of hedgerow finds not um, you know going and picking someone's passion fruit that they've very carefully cultivated in the garden that's a no-no but um, blackberries nettles there's 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 a good variety of things, most of which I'm not particularly interested in. Um, things like slows for making slow gin, rose hips, and, and things like that. Um, a lot of them are to do with alcohol because 
this is Britain and that's what we do. <laughs> so um, I'm I'm more interested in the in the blackberries and the nettles. Nettle um, stalks actually make an interesting fibre for um, knitting yarn. So that's something that I really want to do one day is to harvest the stalks of the nettle plant and ret them. It's called basically rot them, but it's called retting. Um, so you put them in water for a couple of weeks and the smell is apparently awful. But afterwards, um, when you peel the stringy parts from the, um, from the stalks, you can card that and form um, really great long fibred yarn, um, which is apparently sort of um, quite similar to, to linen in that it's got very long um, fibrous thread, threads, so it's, um, it's actually quite a high quality um, fabric that it produces. Um, and that's something that I would like to try at some point, but as I said, I forgot my gardening gloves, so no nettles today. But uh, happy with a pun, it's worth a blackberries.